What profile should I set my display to before I start the calibration process? This is one of the more frequent questions I have received on every single one of my calibration video. So I'd like to take some time to quickly answer this for you. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. The short answer to this question is very simple. You don't have to do anything or choose any specific profile. In fact, it is better that you just leave it the way how it is so that the program can automatically go in and apply a linear profile and you're not going to override it. Before you start the color patch measurement process, the program itself will automatically add a linear profile to your system and choose that as the default. This way you're not having any color bias on your display whatsoever before you start the display calibration process. If you want to close the video out now, you can certainly do that. If you want to stick around, I will show you a demo of what happens on a Macintosh system. In fact, I'll show you two demos. One of them is going to be on a hardware calibrated display from BenQ SW line, SW271C, and I'll be using Palette Master Element to do the display calibration. And for the other one, I'll use a BenQ PD display, to which I will have to take the set down and reset up, and we'll do that. Now, I'm not doing this demo on a Windows system because Windows doesn't do any color management from the OS level like a Macintosh system. And that's the reason why I really can't clearly show you that it's automatically going to apply a linear profile, even though these programs are really designed to do that. So you don't really have to worry about it, even though you're using a Windows system. So let's have a look at this calibration process on a hardware calibrated display. If you look on my screen now, I have the profile SW271C selected there, and obviously you can see that I have gone in and calibrate this display through numerous tests multiple different times. But what I'm going to do is click on the start measurement process here in Palette Master Element. Prepare your sensor. I already have the sensor ready. I'll click on continue. And if you look in the color panel here, you can see that Palette Master Element automatically gone in and apply the RDC begin. This is pretty much a linear profile from Palette Master Element that automatically gets applied. You don't want to change this back to another profile once this pretty much is active. And it's probably a best idea to not have this dialog launch at all unless you really want to see what's happening on the background. So from here, you just click continue and start the calibration process and you will have a neutral profile going forward during the calibration. And then afterwards, it's going to apply the profile to the system and also right to the LUT that's built into the display. Now let's change the setup to a software calibrated display. All right, I'm back after a quick reset. For this demo, I'll be using BenQ PD3420Q. This is their ultra wide pro designer display. And this is a software calibrated display, meaning that there's no 3D lookup table on the display that the software can go in and adjust, unlike a hardware calibrated display. So if you want to find out the differences between software versus hardware calibration for color accuracy, I'll leave a link to it up here. And you can also check out the description below to find more information about that. And just because you are using a hardware to run a calibration on your display, these color measurement devices are not considered hardware calibration by any means. All right, so for this, I'll be using Calibrite Color Checker Profiler software, but the same would be for Color Checker Studio software. We have that software and also the device that goes with that. And for the device I'll be using here is the Color Checker Display Plus. So what I'm going to show you is the color management screen or the profile selection screen from macOS specifically for this PD3420Q. So you can see that and you're going to see that popping up on the screen in just a moment here, the moment I click on start calibration. The reason why I'm doing this is because Color Checker Profiler will pretty much engulf the entire screen and you won't be able to see that. So I want you to be able to see a linear profile being applied. There we go. So the moment is going to start the display calibration. You can see right there that it is applying a display profile underscore linear dot ICC. This is pretty much an unbiased profile. And this is also the reason why I said in the beginning, you shouldn't go in and select anything or even just have this open because the program is automatically going to choose its own linear profile. You don't have to do that at the very beginning or worry about that process at all. So this is what's happening on the Mac side. If you have a Windows system, because again, Windows doesn't do any color management from the OS level, well, you're not really going to see this happening because these profiles are going to be temporary. They just run in the background. 
But nonetheless, all these color calibration software will automatically choose a linear profile before you start the calibration process anyway. I hope that you find this helpful and also answer a lot of the questions that you may have about display calibration in general. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new. And remember, in art we trust.